it's a sick world we live in. Yeah, um, cause right now, um, there is another. There is an actor that is trying to climb up out of the out of the ashes of out of the abyss. His recent allegations being exposed. Um, Are shit, Shia LaBeouf, Mr. Shia. Yeah, Shia LaBeouf. Who black people refuse to say his name, right? Well, maybe it's just me. I call him Shia LaBeouf. Hey. Hey look, hey, look, is his name Shia LaBeouf or Shia LaBeouf? It's Shia, La, Shia LaBeouf. Okay. Um, but but, but way. Shia La is, the LaBeouf is not a name. Well, it's, um, it's, it's definitely Shia La, and then last name, Buff. Okay, well, well let's talk about what, what, what Shia did. And what Shia did, um, before he he went away for a little while, mm-hmm. you know, because he, he he was out here for a little bit popping Indiana Jones remixes and whatnot, Transformers movies, yeah. and he was a he was a big deal. He was, was Walt with, with Walt with, with, with Wiki, yeah. Um, but 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 post the Walt with Wiki and all that, or maybe actually while doing it, who the fuck knows? But. He beat FKA Twig so bad that a housekeeper broke down the door to save her. He reworked her nervous system, bro. This is uh, uh according to Nikki Bass, by the way. This is I'm gonna read her 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 her, her tweet because that's what's on the screen. Um, he drove a car with her in it and threatened to crash it until she said she loved him. He tr- he tied Carolyn Foe to a bed and head-butted her until she bled. He kept a gun on his nightstand with twigs and told her if she left, he'd use it. Uh, She said, I'm aware people may not have known, but now you do. He's just facing demons, quote-unquote. He blames it on alcoholism. Mm, A violent man is a violent man. Hey, look, we can just change that to person. Let's not be uh let's not be let's not be gender shaming here. Yeah. Let's not be look gender up specific. His, look up his current case with FKA Twigs. His redemption tour shouldn't even be a thing. I don't even know how he even got a redemption tour to, to, to even jump off. I don't know how the fuck that work. Um it's been fucked that dude for a long ass time. We've been telling you about these weird old motherfuckers out here, and y'all never want to fucking listen. But he was also a motherfucker that we said, I don't know about that nigga. Something wrong with him. And we said it a while ago. Yeah. And sure enough, but I feel like he he he, he might have timed it right. That is one thing I will give him. He he definitely timed it right. Because at this point he just has to do a better apology than Diddy, and he is and and Diddy and Diddy dropped the bar real quick, low. Diddy made the bar low as fuck. I mean, Shyla is been wreaking the benefits of that because, of course, just like with me too. And, uh, he put the bar in the place. Mm-hmm. Gonna be all of the black men, but all of these black men deserve it. Well, the ones that are actually guilty. Um, but yeah, yeah shout about they're gonna, shot, they're gonna, get, they're gonna get motherfuckers who actually did things that are actually beyond the pale of their useful usefulness. Mm. See, everybody wants everybody want to look at Kanye like, hey, look, ha 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 ha, you, no nigga, no nigga, all the bullshit you did that you think you just skated with, nah, it's, don't come out. Um, motherfucker said, I am deeply ashamed of my behavior and make no excuses for it. I don't know if these statements are too frequent or not shared often enough, but I am certain that my actions warrant a very sincere apology to the arresting officers, and I am grateful for their restraint. The severity of my behavior is not lost on me. My outright disrespect for authority is problematic to say the least and completely destructive to say the worst. It is a new low. A low, I hope, is a bottom. I have been struggling with addiction publicly for too long, 
and I am actively taking steps towards securing my sobriety and hope I can be forgiven for my mistakes. Get the fuck out of here for all of that shit. We don't that's believe true. you because it's not true. You don't that believe that says nothing about the domestic violence that he had been doing. No, fam, he said mistakes, so that covered mm-hmm. it. Oh, that's all of them. That nigga that's dedicated the- all part of the popo. I made mistakes. I've done things in my past. I am ashamed of. Forgive but he was real. He was real specific. I don't know. He, he was real specific about his um. His uh, transgressions against the police, though. Look, he, look, he, 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 gave, he gave them a very heartfelt apology. Oh, definitely a very heartfelt apology, but uh, no, he gave no specifics, though. He just said that it was some fucked up shit he did, but you don't know what he did. Did this motherfucker uh, take feces, wipe it on himself, and then hurl it at others? Did he tell, did, or did he just tell the motherfucker, get off me? No, hey, bitch, shut the fuck up. Did he? Did he? Did he? Did he get belligerent? What was the? What was the capacity? What was the? What was the? What was the capacity of what he did? We don't know. But he's just gonna say, "I, I, I hope it was a bottom." He's not even admitting that that's the lowest he can go in the motherfucking apology. <laughs> I got the more to say. If y'all ain't peep that shit, that motherfucker did say, "Hey, look, it's levels to this shit," and I got. <laughs> That is say, I hope this is I hope this is the bottom of that might be more. Ooh, we're gonna see what this bottle with Jack say. <laughs> uh uh. I ain't found the bottom of a bottle yet. Like, I don't know. I don't know where he's going with that. All I know is your spidey sense should be up and this should not be the apology that bridges the gap and makes you forgive him. Uh what do you, oh you wanna highlight this? He said, I hurt that woman, LaBeouf said, although he did not call her by name on the podcast. And in the process of doing that, I hurt many other people. And many other people before that woman. I was a pleasure-seeking, selfish, self-centered, dishonest, inconsiderate, fearful human being. Hey, look, at no point did he say, I took my head and put it into this woman's head until her head bled. He said, I hurt people. Hey, look, it's ambiguous as hell. You can hurt people in a lot of fucking ways. He also added, when I think about what my life has become and what it is now, like what my purpose is now, I need to be useful. And when I look at this hashtag me too environment, there's not a whole lot of dudes that are taking accountability. I fucked up bad, LaBeouf admitted. Like crash and burn type shit. I hurt a lot of people and I'm fully aware of that. And I'm going to owe for the rest of my life. LaBeouf said as... LaBeouf, LaBeouf said he has a long list of people that I need to make amends to. <laughs> Again, you are not saying that I went around beating on women, causing other torment. Other, you're not saying what you did. You're just saying I did bad things. They were so bad. I left the cap off the toothpaste. I used to leave the toilet seat up. I, you, hey, look, did you forget her birthday? That's horrible. But what are we talking about here? During the interview, LeBeau admitted cheating on every woman I've ever been with and never telling his sexual partners about getting cold sores, which he acknowledged was a manipulative. Fam, if you want to acknowledge the manipulative part, tell the people that you gave individuals herpes. Not that you had a cold uh, sore. A cold Le- sore. <laughs> that is not... A, 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 hey, look, that you're, you're having the regrets of a fucking 14-year-old that didn't let... You had a bump on your lip and you... Uh, Nah, that ain't what we. That ain't what you in your in your in your adult life are apologetic and and regretful for as you're looking back over it. I kid, I had I had, I had cold sores and never told my partner. Fam, your sexual partners aren't worried about your cold sores. They're, They're worried about the herpes. The herpes, fam. <laughs> it's definitely about that herpes. It's the herp. <laughs> the fuck you talking about you can have a cold sore and then never have another cold sore you got herpes you just got that shit you got a lot of yeah no if ands or buts about it it ain't bumpy right there right now just give it a minute 
Let it bubble late. The buff discussed being in a better headspace now, saying that when the allegations first went public, he wanted, quote, unquote, wanted to hit Twitter and be like, look, I got receipts. Without naming her, he added that his accuser is a saint and saved my fucking life. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. When the allegations first went public, you wanted to go on Twitter and say you got receipts, like you can prove the shit that you did, or you can prove that they're lying, that you didn't do the shit? I'm confused here. Yeah, what kind of receipts do you have? This doesn't sound like the, the, the words of a motherfucker who is far from the believe in yourself videos. Those, we remember those when you was high out your fucking mind. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. But we, we we remember those green screen joints, right? Yeah, apparently that was the thing. When he was the rage out theme videos, like, is is uh, are you cutting wrestling promos, man? You look like you look like Scott Steiner right now. Well, not look like, but you sound like Scott Steiner right now. This, I, mean, I don't know. But yeah, mm-hmm. hey, look, we, we tell you motherfuckers every day, listen to us. But yeah. I don't know, y'all want the protection to be reactive, and and the way we get protection is proactive. We stop the shit before it happens. I don't need to pull this motherfucker off you if I stop him from ever getting on you. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes sometimes you can stop the flood. I don't have to sit. I don't have to save you from the flood if I just stop the water from coming in. That part. That part. Let that happen. But motherfuckers, we need be on some. I need to find out for myself. Why? 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 We 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 know this guy. We know him. Not, not, not him. Not him. Not that's not that's not the one. You don't want that one. Keep looking. That motherfucker crazy. All right. So, um, do you think that Shy's um, apology tour will give him the second chance that he wants? Oh, uh, fam. You, pull this, you pull, think he pull, can come pull. back for this? Hey, hey, look, hey, look. Yes, he's white. Full stop. Like, that's it. Like, there's no counting a good old white man out. Yeah. Have you ever seen one of them that when Hey, look! They came back around. It's a. It, it was like, oh my! I can't. He, wait, he's here again. How could? But, but no, the motherfuckers just back, and everybody's just gonna be like, all right, well, I guess they back. All right, well, they... Dan's back now. I guess Dan's back. Yeah, I guess Dan's back. Yeah, Dan. yeah, see, he went to rehab. Now you know he's better, so he's back now. That's why we're whispering because yeah. that motherfucker flipped out of the company picnic and had an eight ball. And but I gotta whisper. But yeah, Dan's back. No, fuck Dan. Dan snorted a whole eight ball off of a fucking a Honda in the parking lot at the company picnic, and we all saw it. Now we both <laughs> and, and he's well, he might he I'm, I'm reporting to him now. So he get his whole position back, huh? He got a promotion post rehab. The f- fuck, but yeah, nah. <laughs> You're gonna, you're gonna have, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna give yourself an aneurysm if you, if, if, if you're trying to figure out why Dan gets a fucking promotion after rehab. No, just understand that Dan gets a fucking promotion after rehab, and and go ahead and make your way out that fucking company because you know what time it is. Yeah. You're not even going to rehab. First of all, you're going to jail, and when you get out of jail. Please be aware that your position is not going to be waiting for. No, it's not. Not at all. 
Yeah, that DUI is costing you way differently than it's costing him. We both we both know what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was doing donuts in the parking lot and he fucked around and hit a forest reserve <laughs> vehicle. Cause he was doing lines off a of fucking civic that his <laughs> new crew just so happened to be, you know, tricking out. Yeah, and it's perfectly acceptable for this 53 year old motherfucker to be hanging out with these tuners now. Hey, look, I don't know what movie I'm describing, but it's a real life event. And it sounds like Fast and Furious 12, nigga. Midlife Crisis Edition. <laughs> yeah, the nigga. <laughs> Buy extra shit for their cars to fuck around on. Nigga, that parking lot with a bunch of 19 year olds. <laughs> Why yeah. are you here, Dan? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> you know, Dan's going to come back from that shit. Hey, look, a better man for having gone through it. Now he got life experience. So he be, he's going to be even more valuable to the team. That's how they're going to spin it. They never going to spin nothing but the checks they get for having you as an inmate and whatever county correctional facility that you are currently in. Yay. Uh, I don't know. Um, I know he was going to go there from that topic, but <laughs> yeah. you could definitely tangent and branch off some motherfucking shits. <laughs>